this is where we are trading to just survive for a living. Uh, the Igbo, uh, in the, in the Igbo people in uh, with garage. We are not partisan, and they said that the reason why we them are breaking it is because we are part of PDP. That uh, uh, that we are part of PDP, and that we are the people that voted PDP in to win. Yes, we can cast our vote, and we will make our choice. I don't see the reason why it will be like this. Because we have every reason to uh, uh, exercise our franchise. I don't see the reason why it will be like this. It's not like this. It's not supposed to be like this. Let them tell us, if we are not the same one Nigeria, they will tell us. If they want us to leave, let them tell us. It's not like this, and it's not supposed to be like this. Yes, and I still know that even in our side at uh, Iboland, we still have brothers and sisters like uh, uh, Yorubas. They must see in our place. We are not treating them like this. I don't see the reason why our only would be different. Please, please, please. The kind of things that we are receiving, this is not the first time. Even the past election, we see that. Even this present one, we see that. We are still seeing it. I don't know whether we are safe here or whether we are not. I don't, see, I don't know. Please. The political talks have van allegedly vandalized the businesses of some Igbo traders at Old Garage in Ushubu, the state capital. In a viral video cited by Daily Post, shops of traders from the eastern parts of the country were attacked over their alleged choice of candidates in Saturday's governorship election. A man behind the camera alleged that the talks vandalized their counters for supporting Senator Ademola Adeleke, the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate in last Saturday's gubernatorial election. Confirming the attack, the chairman of Hwanez Ndigbo in Ocean State, Pastor John, DK said no one was injured, adding that everything is under control. He said the people who destroyed the counters belonging to the Igbo traders were dissatisfied with the outcome of the governorship election. You know, in an election like this, you can't rule out the possibility of dissatisfied persons. It is not anything serious. Some of our people had their counters destroyed, but we have brought that under control as I speak to you now. We are not taking any serious actions against it because we know that there are skirmishes of things like this when elections come up and go. The Yorubas that we live in their land are peace-loving people and we have been living friendly. So it is something we can handle. There is no one injury as I speak to you, he said. <laughs> you are just trying to be politically correct. Nobody has right. So you want to sweep it under carpet. If really what you are saying is true or what is being said is confirmed that it is true, irrespective of how minute or how big the situation might be, nobody has the right to do that. It's unfortunate that uh, we will encourage this kind of nonsense. So if somebody votes for anybody now, they are the ones that will tell you that uh, Igbos are very abusive and all of that. If somebody is even abusing you, then those who will come physically to attack you or to assault you, what does, who is not better off? Because what they do is what they always accuse of accuse others of doing no matter how this their chairman wants to try to downplay this other is very 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 wrong if it is true unless if it is not true if it is true but for you to no one come and be defending them makes no sense so next time they will do worse so you think uh to make someone to cause discomfort for someone you think it's an easy thing or you think uh it could not escalate more than that i see no reason why these people are always trying to be politically correct we cannot be intimidated even his own lagos will be fight to finish hmm. why is it that ourselves and yorubas don't even want us and yet they don't want to leave us to go home with our grace biafra hmm. 
all of you need to move back home so that Nigerians can understand that you are serious about it. Go back to your village. Mm. They should go back to your village. You. So you have to go and tell all those people in diaspora to come back to their village or all those people. Is that how it's been done? So when uh, Nigeria got a, a, its independence, all the British people, did they go back? Don't we still have a, their, what is it called, their embassy here? Some of some of uh, you who are always saying, some, some people are not uh, sensible. You tell somebody to go back, to go back to what? You Are you in your, re, re, in your re village? If everybody should just go back to their village, what is Buari looking for up and down, even as we, we are a sovereign country? What is Buari looking for in other countries, visiting and doing all manner of things? Why is it that we cannot do everything on our own here? You, you people talk nonsense. Some of you that you call yourself Yorubas, you talk rubbish that people should go back to their city. So you think uh, they don't have Yorubas in, in other places? No. When they talk about a uh, Yoruba nation, so does it mean all the Yorubas all over the world, they will not live uh, wherever they are because uh, of Yoruba nation? You guys, uh, you talk like uh, uncultured people and people who are not, who do not even reason. Does that really make sense? I don't understand. Well, Haregbe have to resign his membership from APC because as a minister, you refuse to vote for the candidates of the party you represent in this government. Who is talking about Haregbe Shala as a represent, uh, representative from Moshu? He left the state he did to the election after you have told your supporter in other local government to vote for opposition party. He also need to resign his post as minister in Buhari government. Okay, people are talking of a vandalization of a Igbo's property. This one is still talking about a Arabic. What is the population of a Igbo's compared to the population of a Yorubas that voted a, for Adiliki? Hmm. Well, correct. The movement is beyond Obi. Obi is just the palace of loaded millions of Nigerians and easy. Only palace that will save Nigeria in this uh, situation we found ourselves. I read uh, one thing that a uh, Charlie Boy said. He said Obi is not the savior of uh, the way he put it, but that is I'm just trying to paraphrase that Obi is not the uh, savior or somebody that's going to make Nigeria better. That it is the youth, it is the Nigerians that will do that. If he's just sitting there, he said he can do this. If the people don't give him the opportunity or don't give him the chance, he will do nothing. So if we want things to be better, you know, it is not him. It is you. And I that will make things to better to choose the person that will do the right thing. Zoo Nigeria, if you are tired of egos, please divide the country. Let it go go because there's nothing we can do to please Zoo Nigeria. You want us to stay in Nigeria, but when exercise our rights as citizens by voting our choice of candidates, you will pick offense before we know you're asking us to go back to our place. If you really want us to go back to our place, that is good. Then divide the country. So that we know that uh, we are no longer one. Yes. The country, if the country is not divided, they go, nobody goes anywhere. So all those are nonsense stuff. They are very irritating ways. If the country is not divided, nobody goes anywhere. So get that into your score. And at the end of the day, they are the ones who, because all of a sudden, when people started supporting uh, Obina, they are the ones that are saying that, say, oh, hey, face your B, hey, don't force me to vote, uh, to vote for anybody. So what is not happening now? You are going physically to attack people. If it is true, because the statement by this, uh, the whether the Oanese or the chairman of the Igbos in that uh, state saying that uh, it is not something to worry about, it's wor it's worrisome. You will, they will be telling you, hey, vote your be make a vote my decision. But why are they going physically to attack them? Does that really make sense? Hmm. Well. But those Igbos are not serious. Why would they partake in politics? I am an Igbo man, but I don't like the mentality of our brethren. Sometimes that is what they did after 1966 coup that led to Igbo killing in the north. What they did, what did they do that made them stupid? Voting the right person choice, Abby. You are not serious. Of course, some people, a lot of people are just, some people don't even know they are left from their right. Uh, votes, they will say they don't vote. They come and vote. They, it is a problem. Oh, they don't support their people. If they come to support, oh, it's only people that are supporting. What kind of mentality is this? The so-called politicians have really mesmerized the minds of people. They've just disabused the minds of people. People don't even reason where. This is like to be fake and false propaganda concocted by Peter B supporters whose party could not score up to 5,000 votes despite the 
personal presence of uh, the, this in the campaign brand. But see, Jagaban has worked alone and in vain. <laughs> oh my God. Obi could not get 5,000. And the one that gets uh, whatever, where you see today, hmm. you mean Oaneze is holding a propaganda hmm. insult. I am ready say this before. I've already said this before that uh, the wake up of a uh, Yoruba nation to end Igbo's domination in Yoruba land. <laughs> that is why you cannot travel out to know how we human beings behave. Remain Agberu in Yoruba land because of your hatred and wickedness to other people. Mm. So sorry for the vandalism, but don't see it as an offense to Yoruba people here. It is our great country problem everywhere. Even they did this to themselves in their own town. Talk less you people from other sources. Even you in your own land, you are doing the same thing to your own people in your land. But it is not a good idea. Not a good idea, but uh, to our... It's not a good idea to our policies. We haven't even matured enough in policies in Nigeria. May God open our blind eyes to see. The aggrieved people have misplaced aggression by... Attacking the Igbos, what would have happened in the Labour Party if Labour Party have won the governorship election that have an Igbo man as a, their presidential candidate? Let the Yorubas be magnanimous in defeat. At the end of the day, the person with that won is a Yoruba person. Does it really make any meaning? In fact, something is really wrong in this country. Wow!